Welcome to the CAD Corp tutorial on how to create layered PDFs. The first thing we are going to do is to load some sample data which will make up our layered PDF. We shall begin by loading Ordnance Survey Master Map Topographic Data. On top of this data we will load some Transport Network data. And then finally, some address point data. We can now see in our workspace window on the left hand side that we have three overlays which are ready to be exported. Before exporting the data, we are going to right click over each overlay and choose to rename the files so that the layers in the resultant PDF makes sense to other recipients or users. Once zoomed in to the area of the map which we wish to export, we can then use the File Export to File command to create our PDF document. In the Export As dialog, set the Save As Type option to the Portable Document Format and then give the document a name. Also remember where you are choosing to save the document to. Choose Save to move on to the next stage in the process. The next stage brings up the Portable Document Format dialog with a number of tabs at the top of the screen. The first tab allows us to set the resultant page size and orientation of the PDF that will be produced. For our example, we shall choose A4 and Landscape. The Description tab allows us to add some document information such as title and author. In the Options tab, we choose from a number of advanced options to create hyperlinks within the PDF or to create layers that the end user shall be able to turn on and off. In this example, we shall include the options to export layers for Adobe Reader 6 and above, and also to export layers for Adobe Illustrator 10 and below. Additional options allow us to export geospatial metadata that can export measurement or coordinate system information, and also the ability to export OGC Geo PDF metadata. In the Schema tab, we can choose to export item attributes as PDF user properties and comments for selected overlays. In this example, we shall export item attributes for the address overlay. The Output tab allows us to set the resolution of the resultant PDF document and the Fonts tab allows fonts to be embedded within the PDF. Finally, the Security tab allows us to add passwords to open the document and also allows us to restrict printing and changes to the document that we create. Choosing OK shall create the PDF file. Opening the PDF file that you create with Adobe Reader, you should now be able to control which overlays are displayed and also view item attributes using the Comments or Items Properties layer. Welcome to the CAD Corp tutorial on how to create layered PDFs. The first thing we are going to do is to